Kate Whitbread is my partner in film because her father was Oscar Whitbread. And we grew up, when I, Kate and I went to high school together, that's how long I know Kate, we're still great friends and partners in film. But I learned from Oscar in the old days, you know, I mean, Oscar, Oscar's, Oscar passed away a couple of years ago, but Oscar's had 7,500 hours of television under his belt as a director or a producer in this country alone. Because first of all, he started, he was um, um, Frost's producer in the um, UK for um, Channel, Channel 4, whatever the first channel was, um, it, for the first variety show. He was the first variety show director in Australia for the ABC. And he was married to Corinne, Corinne's her name, but she was a famous um, Australian um, news reporter on the ABC, so he's married to her for many years. And so Kate's one of their three children. But I grew up with Kate and friends, and, and she got me really more into film and television than I, than I did in theatre originally. I, I do feel one thing, I feel, I feel that Hollywood's decentralising. I think things are changing. You know, I was fortunate recent, recently enough, um, I'm doing a play next year, I'm producing a play. It happens to have um, Chaz Palmateri and Robert De Niro. And Bobby's directed it, Bobby's directed the play. Bobby directed the musical version on Broadway recently, so I spent some time with them in York recently. And, um, and uh, um, I just sitting there, just talking to them was just, I was lucky to be there with them. But Chaz Palmateri is the most wonderful actor, not a wonderful actor, but a wonderful man. He's just open and he's just, he's like the man next door, boy next door, you know. And um, I sat many a night, I was there for two weeks. Every time I finished it, I'd go to his restaurant, sit there and have a chat and have a meal. And um, just talk about the industry. And I feel that Hollywood's decentralizing. I feel that there's so many more avenues of people building um, new, um, uh, new, new, new areas of film. But China, for example, is spending billions. They've just built the largest, they spent three and a half billion dollars on the largest facility, uh, film, film, um, production facility in the world and that has everything from that has everything from interactivity you believe they're gonna build another eight of these facilities around China. So they're spending because their movie industry is humongous. So I feel that people have been they're, they're, and they're dragging people out. Um, the film is um, The Great Wall, uh, the Chinese movie The Great Wall recently. It, phenomenal. One of the best Asian movies ever made. Matt Damon was phenomenal in his film and that Chinese uh, uh, American collaboration but the film is just blows your mind away. The the um, the, um, the special effects and the, it was just it, I was just went there and going my god and I love the movie I love that the storyline was fantastic about the Great Wall but those things are happening a lot more now than they happened before so they're dragging so we feel that started to decentralize Hollywood will always be Hollywood but I don't think the powers there anymore that used to be there I feel they're, they're traveling they're moving it around the world in the UK is coming back we need to come back we need to get those those films up, I said, well, we'd love to get, you know, 20, 30 million dollars and share it with 20 people and make 20 little movies instead of making one big one. And we can, but we just don't get the opportunity. But we will soon. It's up to us. It's up to us to change it. No one's going to change it if we don't change it. If you and I don't stand there and talk to people and move people, no one's going to change this, this business but us. We have to make the moves.